Welcome back everyone. This is Frank, Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. Right now I'm testing a solar power that I purchased at Amazon, just came yesterday. And uh, I'm putting it on the roof. It's the, it's the thin one um, where it's a little bit flexible, the plastic, and it's not really heavy. It has four uh, grommets, so you can tie it. I tied it in two areas and I folded the panel a little bit so it can be underneath the car so the wind can blow over it. So I give it a little more aerodynamic and it pushes the, the, the panel down. But it's connected to my Buddy Pole Power Mini 2, which uh, is a great asset. I love my Power Mini, uh, my Buddy Pole Power Mini 2. Most people who have this device, this char char charge controller, power management device, um, always, you know, they always testify that it's it's a great product, and it is. As a matter of fact, I, I looked up to see if uh, to purchase another one, and they're not they're not available. But uh, for now, but that what that does is the the solar panel, you know, collects energy from the sun. And with the uh, Buddy Pole Power Mini, and this is not the only device in the world, you can buy other ones, of course. This one will manage the, or charge the battery uh, completely. It won't overcharge it. And not only that, what it'll do is, the, the Buddy Pole Power Mini, if you have other devices connected to it, it will, it will manage the power coming from the battery and the, and the uh, and the power that's coming from the solar panel and it just does everything um, that it's supposed to do. And it also has a USB-A connection. Great device, I have, some, I have some videos for you. You can always watch those if you like. Oh, by the way, if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, maybe share it with your friends. Uh, maybe subscribe, thanks. But anyway, um, so, What's the story with, with, with this panel, right? Why do, I, why do I have this panel now? Well, the power film um, foldable solar panels, they're really nice, but they're really expensive and they're really floppy. I've had many, many times where I've um, you know, unfolded them, tied them on the top, can't tie them on the bottom, and when the wind comes around, it starts flapping and it'll just close up. Sure, I could, tie all four corners and it should be fine the only thing is it's 20 watts and it's pretty long too and there is no 50 watt version 50 watts would be great power film if you're listening uh <laughs> do a 50 50 a 50 watt one and a smaller one uh, they might have the technology to do it but it might not be feasible in terms of cost who knows uh that would be nice um Another thing that would be would be nice about that is um, the price. If it was a little bit less expensive, I know some of you are going to say it's made in America. You know, you're supporting American jobs. And that's right. You, we are, and that's great. Um, but you know, the you know not all of us have a, a nice budget for ham radio. It would be nice if it was a little bit lower in price. Okay, so. That's why people get something like the Renogy, which is uh, one of those solar panels that you see in the houses on top, made out of aluminum and it's very sturdy. Although that, it weighs a lot. And I have a 50 watt one uh, that, that weighs a lot, but you put it outside and it's sturdy, the wind won't blow it away. Uh, somebody steals it, right now it's like $40 and I don't, of course, I. I don't, I don't want anybody to steal it or advocating stealing, but if it breaks or somebody steals it, it's only 40 bucks, which is which is reasonable price for 50 watts. And it gives you also two point something amps, um, which this panel is doing right now. And it's charging my um, three amp hour bio battery. <clears throat> now that battery, by the way, was connected to an FT818 and it uh, drained um, I knew this, but I was testing it one more time. My FT8 drained my battery again. So don't leave it connected. You know, unplug it and it'll, you'll be fine. 
So the um, the three amp hour bioano battery charged up very quickly within two hours, especially when the sun was out. It was giving me two amp, two amp, two point two five amps, which is a lot uh, for a nice little panel like this. Um, you know, if, if you if you had a solar panel in the nineties, uh, that was that was this size, it would cost you an arm and a leg. So uh, definitely it's worth the price. I think it, it was like $75. I cut the ends off so I can put like, um, I think it was a, what is it? A Delphi type connection or a Delco connection. I, I forget what it's called. It's one of those car connections. And uh, well, uh, I've gotten to the habit of doing that. Um, and uh, I got my own uh, wire that I made, and that connects to the bio, the Buddy Pole Power Mini. <clears throat> so the the Renogy 50 watt <clears throat> solar panel, too big, scratched my car. Uh, I can see that it'll easily break if it falls or something hits it. As for the as for the foldable power film. Um, the um, the, the uh, power film solar panel that one is expensive it's floppy it's great in the field let's say you have an IC705 and you want to um, you know give it some some juice you just tie it down in the ground and there you go you got you got your juice very nice and easy but if you want to use it for the car it's windy, you put it on the roof, it starts flapping all over the place, even if it's tied. And I don't particularly like to tie it um, a lot either. I feel like if I do, um, if I do tie it too much, I might rip the, the fabric. Uh, right now, like I said, the sun power is doing very nicely. It's rigid. Um, it has grommets so I can hang it. I'm sure if the wind blows it, it won't fold because it's stiff. Um, it's lightweight, looks like something can hit on it and it won't break. Um, but it would be nice if it was foldable, wouldn't it? Um, that would be nice, but it isn't. But it'll fit in my, I think it'll fit in my car. As a, as a matter of fact, I might be able to fold it down and maybe put things on top. Might not be a good idea, but we'll see. I mean, uh, I want I want a solar panel anyway as an emergency uh, type device. Now here's a, here's another thing too. I've been wanting I've been wanting one of those uh, uh, DC powered um, DC powered uh, refrigerators, and those you know they they drink about two to two and a half amps. Um, when they're when they're stable, so a solar panel like this could technically power the the refrigerator, of course, with the with the battery. Um, and having this, it's very low profile and discreet. It's possible that nobody will see it and then you know tear it or rip it or whatever. Um, but I think I think I think we're doing good actually um, with this with this particular panel and I know people will put some glue on it and it'll paste it on the on the car I'm not going to do that um, because these things do eventually break looks like some of them don't last more than two years and we'll see uh, it looks like the connections crack because it, it's you know it's in the Sun too long but hopefully that gives you some sense for now, on this on this particular device, hopefully, in the future, I can give you a little more info. All right, I'll be seeing you later. This is Whiskey Charlie's Zero Oscar. Bye bye.